saying not only will the sustained winds be strong, but there will be some powerful gusts as well. Yeah, toppled trees, power lines getting knocked down, certainly a real concern. And by the shoreline, it is a real concern with the water rising up, high tide. This is all an issue that News 8's Jeff Vallon has been following live in Milford. We've been seeing pictures from really around the shoreline, Jeff, of that water creeping up closer and closer. Uh, yeah, certainly. And now it's light enough that we can start showing you what just what the water activity is out on the sound. And this is looking essentially south at the Calf Pen Meadow Creek, uh, where uh, Bayshore Drive and Melba cross the creek. Now this is looking south as the water is being blown. Now high tide is over, by the way, along the Connecticut shoreline. Ended about an hour or so ago, but uh, that isn't uh, really deterring the tide anyway because with the wind coming straight out of the south and coming very very hard it is pushing the water still as you can see very very strongly in toward us and and this calf pen meadow creek where we are is uh, definitely far far above what it normally would be at this point and we can expect flooding in this area uh, rain really isn't a factor right now but it is the wind that is the issue and of course uh, as I was probably mentioning as I was mentioning earlier a uh, flash flood warning has been issued for this area and essentially one to three feet tides above normal uh, have been expected this morning from uh, Madison right on down to Greenwich but the strongest wind might still be ahead of us. Of course, uh, check in with Gil about that kind of stuff, but it certainly is the stronger component of what has people concerned here along the shoreline. We're live in Milford, Jeff Vallon, News 8.